Hello, Internet. I'm here to bring you the Nick Box <gasps> Fall Unboxing. The theme is either treats and treasures or treasures and treats, but as usual, what the actual theme is will be down in the description box. Um, I'm just going to get into it because all of the classic Big Heads, Ren and Stimpy, Angry Beavers, uh, Real Monsters, same, you know, typical characters that we've had in the past are in it and there better be at least one candy thing because when you say treats I think of candy and it's Halloween and just make it happen okay here's the card which I don't want to look at the back of it because the back has whatever's in the box it is a sort of treasure map so I guess that's where the treasure comes in. Okay, we've got a cat dog vinyl figure. Okay, so it looks like cat dog and then behind it is like a black disc, which is probably how you stand up cat dog because it looks like there's a little spoke coming out of it. So you probably rest them on there. I used to love this cartoon. It was really weird and twisted if you think about it, but that's probably why I'm a weird and twisted person. Uh, then we've got a wall clock from Rocco's Modern Life. This is kind of cute. I don't remember there being a clock um, from the show. So that one's kind of faded from my memory. I see something from Rugrats here. A Reptar bar, but this is not an actual candy bar because I see it's like, it's very light. This is not the kind of candy that I'm in. What does that smell? Is this supposed to smell like something? Because it's got a weird scent. I mean, it doesn't smell like chocolate, does it? It almost smells like an air freshener. That's really weird, but let's see if it says anything. It says ingredients, chocolate, nuts, caramel, green stuff, and 100% polyester. Allergy information manufactured on the same equipment that loves Reptar. <laughs> That's funny. Nutrition facts. One Reptar. Servings per container. One. Uh, this is 172 calories. That's a little weird. I kind of like the box. Not so much this. But you know what? My dog would like that. It's really weird because look at even the box itself. Like it instead of actually closing... It comes with Velcro, so you can, like, tear open the bar. I don't know. It is weird, that's for sure. All right, let's see what else we've got. Um, you know what? This is what the Reptar bar smells like. Air freshener. I thought that was so odd that it smelled like that. Okay. Um, it's kind of moist inside the packet, so I'm assuming that this air freshener is very um, soaked in the fragrance because I can really smell it even though it's in a sealed packet. I mean, it smells nice and clean like deodorizer, but it's funny because it's, it's the, the Ariel Monsters outside of a trash can. I'm not going to open it up yet because I might stick this in my car. Um... There's something else real monsters right here. Crumb candy dish. Oh, this is this might be cute. Well, I shouldn't say this is cute. I don't know what it looks like. And I doubt anyone else would think crumb is cute, but I think he is adorable. Okay, this is stinking cute. Now, it's supposed to be a candy dish where I assume you put the candy in his mouth, but it's very small. And I have kind of small hands, so the fact that my hands don't even fit in there. But this would actually be kind of cool, you know, on the sink as like a sponge holder because it is glazed on the inside, so you don't have to worry about any water absorption or mold or anything. But yeah, this is actually kind of really cute. I might stick it on my desk or I might bring it home. Not sure yet. Okay, now let's see what else we have in here. These, these are plates. It says, hey, Arnold, Ren and Stimpy, Angry Beavers, and Rugrats. Okay, so I'm going to have to open this so that you guys can see. Because apparently, there's different patterns. Okay, this is the Angry Beavers plate. 
running out of room for all this stuff. This was a really big, good box. Then here is the Hey Arnold plate. These are your standard plastic, do not microwave, hand wash only kind of little kid plates, you know, every kid has at some point in their life with like Winnie the Pooh on them or Minnie and Mickey Mouse. Here's the Rugrats plate. And here is the Ren and Stimpy plate. These, these are very cool. I mean, this these boxes are always just really nostalgic for me at least, you know, I don't know about you guys. We've got a shirt that's, <gasps> holy crap, I've always wanted to be a member of the Midnight Society. God, everything in this box smells like that air freshener. I'm glad it's not like some super offensive smell, but it's just weird because everything smells very piney or I can't even describe that scent. But look, the Midnight Society. And then on the back it says, are you afraid of the dark? This is super cool. I'm not normally a huge fan of black shirts, but this is the freaking Midnight Society, son. They're good. What? Well, there's something else in there. The Midnight Society. What is this? <gasps> oh my god! Okay, I am such a nerd and I don't freaking care. This is an enamel pin with a struck match and it says, Official Member of the Midnight Society. This is like a lifelong dream come true. This box has given me so much life. Not just this box, but the Nick box in general is seriously so amazing. I am now an official member of the Midnight Society. I've got my Midnight Society shirt from my other box. I got the flashlight and I also got a piece of the freaking aggro crag. I also have a little shrine from the silver monkey. <sighs> the Nick box is the best. Okay, I'm sorry. <sighs> gotta calm down and this final thing looks like an agenda or something M I don't know what that oh ah real monsters that's what it's from it looks like an agenda and it is it's like a school folder kind of thing it's got like a little pouch for you to put stuff here little mesh pockets for like erasers and calculator a couple little card holders you got little strappy here for pencil and you can go to school smelling like air freshener now I don't really have something that I could that I could definitely use this for but I'll figure something out because this is actually pretty cool I'm trying to remember like maybe there was like some sort of monster manual my I mean I remember a lot about my childhood but I don't remember everything so I think it's probably some there was like a monster book like that what was that guy's the, like their leader who always wore the high heels. You guys from know who I'm talking about? And he probably had this, cause I know when they went in the sewers, like he would always yell at them and, and, and make them do stuff. And so I think he was like the leader of all the monsters. He pro it was probably his book to control them or for something. But yeah, wow. That was the box and that box was amazing. And this is why the Nick box, even though it only comes out quarterly, is still legit like my favorite sub box. <sighs> God, guys, I'll put a link down below with my referral code. Obviously I get points if you go through that, but even if you wanna just do one box just to test it out, I can't recommend this box enough. I mean, if you even watched half of these shows growing up, these products are just like so fun and nostalgic and it, they're just awesome. So I will come. So that's all I have for you guys and I will see you soon. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll be back with some other fun stuff and I'll see you later. Bye.